Alright, welcome back to this new video. Today we're going to finish down the Project Borodino, the Revsky read up, so sit down and enjoy the video. So, as you can see, we are going in a good progress. We have now the hole uh, before the hill and we've got the low ground and the uh, top ground. So what we're going to place now is the places where the cannons will stand and this will be the main ID so if you're looking up you can see it right there the cannon through the uh, tr looking through the hole and we're going to make one here one here and I will one, uh, make one more here and I need to cut down this piece off and create a piece here so the cannon can look that direction and then I will place down in the back a, uh, a wall of wood and if that's done we've got the uh, the base set up and then we're going to make this diorama finishing all right so as you can see I've got the diorama in a bit of a way complete uh, not actual complete but the scene ground the base ground done and you can see I spread down on the bottom some mud and if I take the Take the can, it's from the Valeoyo Thick Mud Acrylic and this one was really helpful for this part and for this part and for the middle part I've got the AK wet ground uh, terrain for the diorama and you are creating yeah, a bit of this, cr this effect and as you can see here uh, it's already uh, on the ground and I put down also some bit of green not too much because it's a uh, open uh, open field it's breaked up because of the building of the uh, hill defenses and here you see a lot more green than there uh, and if i put on the light you can see still green there but it's more uh, more over here and you can also see some wooden sticks or wooden logs uh, on the 172 scale and that's because there are also trees and uh, wood and stuff uh, and, and bushes and, and stuff uh, so it needs to be complete with some wood over the field and it's now drying and after that we're going to fix up the parts that looks a bit sketchy not uh, looking very realistic so that's going to be with uh, soil or uh, ground tough uh, stuff on the ground and then the painting on the side and then the placing of the figures and the wall uh, behind so we've got a lot of work to do but we've got the base ground and now it's going to complete uh, into a scene and that's the way i wanted to create this diorama so as you can see we're going to move on to the next all right, I added some puddles to create a effect on the uh, ditch and here you can see the soldiers figures into the ditch and with this effect I create little, pu pu little uh, puddles and you can create it in mud and stuff to create that low water effect in your ditch. So that's really great and fit to first figures done onto the model we are going to set down the other figures ASAP but we are going to need first to check onto this wall with the wood and the wall behind
Alright, I made the defenses of the hill and you can see here some wooden sticks cut down with a saw to little pieces to stick to each other and now we've got this one with some paper around it but there will be some mud over it and you've got this one, this one and that one and I'm going to put down a little bit mud between them because if you are fighting heavily there will be mud sh or, or dirt or earth uh, shooting every direction and it's the effect to create it more uh, more dirty on the on the battleground. Now here you have the figures into the battles. The first figures. All right, in finishing the project, I've got all the figures done, and look at this. We've got a box full of French French soldiers with these cannons, as you can see here, all weathering and all done. And you can see a bit of blue there, but we're going to fix it with the uh, mud onto the terrain and stuff. And you can also see steel on the foods of the soldiers, like this one. Uh, you can see the uh, blue dots on it as well, but if you place them down on the ground you won't able to see them, so that will be great. And here I've got a box with all the Russian troops, and look at them, all detailed if I take uh, this one, the horse. You can see all the details on and uh, like this figure, uh, the flag holder, it's yeah, it's really amazing to have a set of so many, so many uh, figures to place down onto a model. And now it's going to be the finishing touch and that's making to uh, make it into the terrain and let's do it. All right, with placing one of the cards, this is the one. You see the blue dots stay on the horse, but that will be fixed later on. And here you can see the ammunition card with the six horses in front running to the battery over here. And I placed the other card. I had two of these, uh, as you saw in the video. Um, and I had uh, one card with the ammunition and one card with the cannon and I destroyed the cannon one and laid it down over here so you've got a uh, full uh, full filled uh, ditch and with this done it's going to be a lot more amazing the scene uh, as how it seems now and I painted already the uh, logs here with uh, some wood wash and that was the, uh, let's see if I have it here, um, no I cannot see it but that, oh here it is, this is the wood wash I used, it's for, uh, yeah, for wood AK Interactive and you can use the yellow and the orange one first but I just like it to apply this one at uh, the moment I uh, lay down the, the wood because this effect is really amazing and uh, with this effect on it's going to be the uh, wall behind and I just need to figure out how thick and how high the wall must be but uh, we're getting there so uh, stay tuned Thank you. 
right, adding the last detail on that is smoke on the battleground. Smoke out of the cannons. Placing the last part onto the model, we are now finished. The Borodina project, the rescue redoubt, is done. It's done. And here you can see the last pictures. Enjoy, and thank you for watching.